Stardust Overdrive was released in November 2009. Notable cards in this set include Jin Releaser of Rituals, Level Leader, Swap Frog, Preparation of Rites, and one of the most powerful fairy monsters ever printed, Archlord Christia. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening 24 booster packs or one box of a core Yu-Gi-Oh booster set. We will build a deck and play a best two out of three, and the winner will receive a small prize to upgrade their deck. However, in each episode, we will open another box of the next set that was released moving in chronological order, constantly upgrading our decks before dueling each other at the end of each episode. This is the Yu-Gi-Oh progression series. I can feel the energy coursing through my veins. My body temperature's rising. My pulse is racing. This is what victory is supposed to feel like. And we have finally defeated Gage. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the winner's circle. And it feels fantastic to end Gage's win streak. And this could not have come at a better time because there is so much at stake on this wheel. This might be one of the biggest wheels of the Yu-Gi-Oh! progression series. For people who may know, Turbo Pack 1 is what is at stake here, and if you already know what's in that pack, you know where we're going with this, but I'll save it for a little bit later. Wild Card Ultra also isn't the worst here. We would actually be able to nab a copy of Vayu that we missed in Ancient Prophecy, so... I'll take it, I guess, but I, I I want the tournament packs. Like, there is no debating. The tournament packs are game-changing this time around. I'm going to give the wheel a nice good set of spins here and hope for the best. Please? Oh, yes. So I want to go ahead and show you guys what is in Turbo Pack 1 before we open these packs. As you can see right off the bat, the ultimate rare is actually Judgment Dragon. This would in fact give us a boss monster. The problem is we'd have to go back to playing Light Sworn. Is Judgment Dragon good enough to warrant playing Light Sworn? I don't know. One of the funny things about this is, is that you could actually in fact mill your own boss monster. So I don't know. The Black Wings seem to be doing a really good job right now. So even if we pulled this Judgment Dragon, I can't say I would be really convinced to go back to this strategy that quickly. Doom Caliber Knight is an ultra rare. This card is insane for anyone who has never seen this card before. It was actually a prize card and it cannot be special summoned. It's 1900 attack on a level four, which is already great. If a monster effect is activated, you tribute the Doom Cal and negate the activation and destroy the monster. So Gage could manipulate this in some ways, but Doom Cal is such a strong card. It's also dark, so it actually would synergize with our deck. I would not be too bent out of shape if we pulled a Doom Cow, but there's something even better that I'm really hoping we pull. Let's go to the Super Rares first. The Super Rares are largely irrelevant. It's Garoth, Krebons, a Gladiator Beast, Samite, and a Black Whirlwind. We basically have all these already, so this is all, you know, this is all whatever. I don't care about this. The rare slot is what matters, because if we scroll down here, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we have a shot at pre errata crush card virus this could be the bomb that we have needed the entire time to really help equalize the playing field now i'll be honest it's not chaos emperor dragon it's not dark arm dragon but to be fair this is one of the most powerful cards ever printed and if we can pull a copy of it, this may be the break we were looking for. But it doesn't end there, ladies and gentlemen. If we go down to the commons, look what we have a chance to get once more. Book of Moon is a common in Turbo Pack 1, which means we could now be repping three copies of Book of Moon in the main deck, and that would automatically make its way in because Book of Moon has won so many games, it has been ridiculous there's also a ton of gladiator beasts in here which if we actually were able to assemble that core that would have been cool but i think we're well beyond that also Ryko, another shot at Ryko is pretty neat and different dimension reincarnation i don't know how relevant this card necessarily is but i think this originally came in a structure deck so this is a chance to get this card where we otherwise wouldn't have been able to we've got some big pulls we have some very very big pulls here so i'm just gonna get straight into it the crush card is all we want. Book of Moon is like the bare minimum, but crush card could actually just be game changing. So ladies and gentlemen, three packs of Turbo Pack 1. Let's go. 
It's okay. It's fine. This is our first pack. I don't really care too much. It's it's okay. We have two more packs still. Let's hope for the best. Pack number two. Okay, there's the Book of Moon. That's I'm I'm honestly I'm really happy about that. Book of Moon just standalone is already really strong. So if we don't get crushed card, I still have hope, but if we don't get it, I'm at least happy that we got a third Book of Moon. That is actually a very, very big pull. But oh man, guys, we have a very, very big pull here. I'm very nervous. Let's secure this and let's get to that third pack. It all comes down to this. This may be our one and only shot to be able to pull a crush card and actually be able to equalize the playing field. This has to happen. This has to happen. This needs to happen right here, right now. Oh my, <laughs> we got it. Oh my God. Thank you. We pulled the fucking crush card. This series has taken a turn for the worse for you, my friend. Oh my God. We are now playing with power, ladies and gentlemen. Gage is gonna have to look out for this. Oh, the game has changed. We still have to open some Stardust Overdrive packs. This is only the first part of the episode. So let's send it on over to Gage so he can tell you all about it. All right, guys, we faced a crippling defeat yesterday. The first one in a long while, might I add. Let me just say, Icarus Attack, it is a hell of a card, and I am more scared of the consequences than anything, especially for this loss. Because Alex, he already get to spin that wheel, and those turbo packs, they're now champion packs. Champion pack one is crazy. I'm sure Alex told you all about it, and he's probably gloating over the fact that he pulled crush card virus and all those other good cards. I'm terrified, guys. Not expecting this to be a streak, though. I'm ready to win this time around. This time we're opening Stardust Overdrive, released November 17th. 2009. Already two very powerful cards off the bat. Quick Draw, Synchron, Level Eater. Level Eater becomes a menace later on in the game, especially when we get uh, Link Summoning. Level Eater becomes just instantly one of the best cards in the game. Still actually also a very powerful card to use in the Synchro area here. It just doesn't see its full potential until later on in the game. Same thing with Quick Draw Synchron as well. Just synergies later on down the game, but on release, I wouldn't say these cards are really that crazy. Infernity keeps their support trickling in with Necromancer, a cornerstone of the deck. Necromancer is crazy. Still not enough to actually piece together a full Infernity deck though, from what I can see here. Fortune Ladies released. Those are a bunch of whatever. And a couple more Earthbound Immortals get dropped on us. The only one of note is this one. I'm not gonna even bother to try to uh, pronounce the name. This is the only one I've seen actually get played and it's because of its effect where it's destroyed by a card effect except by its own destroy all cards in the field. So you can destroy it from anywhere too. Paired well with a card like Dragonic Diagram to be able to nuke the field. This is the only one I've really seen actually do anything in competitive play. The ultra rare slot just doesn't look good for this set. Swap Frog gets the drop in on us here too. Very, very powerful card here for those frogs. Still don't think there's enough to build a Frog Monarch deck and I don't think Frog Monarch deck stacks up anywhere close to what dad that we're playing now teledad Jin release her rituals ah, man who could forget this card again this is a card that gets better later on down the line when we get better ritual monsters don't think we're going to be opening the secret forces though that's that's a side set so we actually won't be able to see really Jin at its full max potential gemini spark is one of the cards that actually made bubble beat a deck too we don't have enough pieces to make really bubble beat neos alias being like the best choice and you know being able to miracle fusion now uh the shining shining was the shit guys pointer of the red lotus pretty good card nowadays not a great card back in the day. A couple new Light Sworn cards that don't do anything at all. Rinyan and uh, Shire are both really, really bad. But you know, we couldn't leave off this set with a couple other bangers. Gateway of the Six gets released in this set. We have a lot of Six Amp cards, guys. I hope we can actually pull a copy of Gateway, because then maybe on in later episodes, like Storm of the Ragnarok, when we get cards like Kizan and Sheen and everything, if we can pull gas for those, we might actually have the makings of a pretty good Six Samurai deck. Shooting Noji is actually another good zombie monster, but again, we don't have enough zombie stuff to build a deck. And Arc Lord Chris Christia is a hell of a card to pairing in with that fairy strategy as all the other fairies are really secret rares and everything too. Even though I don't think this is something, again, we can build a deck around. We just can't do anything with Christia uh, because we don't have enough fairies. But it is still a banger of a card nonetheless. Guardian Neotos, this card is expensive if you have it secret rare first edition. And then the clear world stuff. Wow, I hope I do not pull any of that garbage. Let's open the 24 packs. Stardust Overdrive. I'm ready for it, baby. Give me the gas. Where's the pack? I can't believe it. I can't believe we pulled the crush card i can't believe it this could change the entire series 
but we're not done yet. The biggest thing we have to focus on now is that Turbo Pack 1 is still up for grabs, I believe, for the winner of this episode. So we need to do everything in our power to win because at the very least, as long as we win this, we will keep Gage off of potentially getting a crush card of his own. His deck's broken enough. He does not need crush card on top of everything else. So that is our main priority here. Stardust Overdrive does not give us a lot of help. I think this is probably one of the more lackluster sets to be completely honest. We're gonna hope for the best, 24 packs. Let's get cracking. You know, for the first pack, there's actually a lot to talk about here. So first up, we have Level Eater. This card's actually banned. This isn't gonna be too relevant for us at the moment, but this card is notorious for just a lot of spamming and being able to continuously synchro and just do a lot of unfair things, especially with Link Monsters as well. This card got really out of hand. A Pointer of the Red Lotus is cool. I feel like Trap Dust Shoot's probably just the better card. A Pointer does have a lot of downside, and we're not really in a environment like a modern Yu-Gi-Oh where one card is going to just absolutely ruin you. I guess I am because Chaos Emperor Dragon and Dark Rum Dragon are like that, but it doesn't like solve the problem permanently. Whereas something like a pointer will usually be enough a lot of the time in modern Yu-Gi-Oh because the game is quick enough. That's why you see this card seeing a lot of play. Swap Frog's also in here. That's pretty cool. Moray of Greed isn't terrible, I guess, if we play some sort of water deck, but overall, not a bad first pack. Bro, stop it with the shitty ghost rares. Why are we getting the worst synchros as ghosts? There's a ghost rare majestic star dragon why does this keep happening i can't complain i got a crush card but still i need good synchros i, I don't even think there's a good synchro monster in this entire set but come on what is it with the absolute horrific set of ghost rares i'm pulling man here we have a Jin releaser of rituals anyone who played during necros format knows how oppressive this card is i doubt this is going to come up in the progression series thankfully so we don't have to worry about it gemini sparks also in this set this is pretty cool i this is like obviously if you were playing like old school heroes this was relevant with like neo salius but this is the set that it came in and uh was actually pretty relevant for a time pack number one stardust overdrive let it think for a sec here. It's got to, it's got to put the secret rare in the first pack. I <laughs> called it, baby. Not quite the secret rare I wanted. Shoot emoji, you know. It's it's a good card, but um, it's not anything that I think I can actually make anything around here. Stingy Nurge is in this set too. This is actually a pretty cool card to side against like Burning Abyss because it would uh, modify the levels and everything. All those level threes. Can't exceed in any level twos. Doubt you played them. Oh, well, I can get literally useless cards. I can get tokens in the common slots. That's kind of upsetting. I uh, really hope I don't pull more of those. That's $2.50 for a soul token. Oh, prep. That's really huge, actually. Preparation of rights. Card that still sees play today. Monstrous of a card. This card's been all over the ban list, too. Beautiful pickup. I love to see prep. Uh, hopefully, I can pick up a couple more of those. Maybe get something ritual based later. I want a gin, too. Oh, an ultra rare. Explosive magician. I think this is a generic one, too. Is that? Nah, it's a non tuner spellcaster. I think this card's like okay, but we don't have any spell counter strategies to be able to work with it But that's not a bad pull. You know, I'll take any synchros. I just love seeing the white cards are, are, uh, uh, What are you are you serious? Are you fucking serious a second ghost rare majestic? St just okay the reason the reason I am fuming that I am livid right now imagine if this was stardust dragon Imagine if this was Black Rose Dragon. Imagine if this was any half decent synchro monster that I could have not only had one of, but I could have had two of. Oh my God, that is so infuriating. Now there's a super rare that's going to cause some PTSD, Gateway of the Six. Now I think under normal circumstances, people would not necessarily write off Stardust Overdrive as a bad set, but for the progression series, obviously we need to have a lot of the other ancillary pieces surrounding these decks to take advantage. Uh, Gage might actually have a decent Six Sam core from what I recall. I don't think he's gonna play Six Sams because obviously it doesn't have any synergy with Emperor or Dark Arm Dragon. But uh, yeah, this is a really cool throwback and uh, I'm so happy I didn't play during this time oh an ulti baby a black wing card that alex probably wanted to get his grimy fingers on there don't have much use for it for me as i don't think i have as many good black wing cards as alex does he's got shura and everything but hey at least i could hopefully you know steal this from him hopefully he doesn't get the luck himself to pull it max warrior that is max turbo trash right there oh oh man these ghost rares baby i keep getting that's a cheap ghost rare by the way majestic star dragon definitely definitely oh my god wait a minute we can actually play this Guys, this is wild. 
we can actually play Majestic Star Dragon. How many stars is this motherfucker here? 10 stars? So what, we'd have to have a level one, the Majestic Dragon, and we play Stardust. We have Stardust. So, uh, sick. I'll throw it in the extra deck, hey? I don't know if I'll play Majestic Dragon, though. Black Brute Drago, I think this is the Gemini card. I'm instantly gonna skip over that. I, I guess we're getting better with the Hollow Luck, but it's not what I want. I think that's our third appointer. Last pack. Hey, clutch it out. Nah, nothing too good. I think we did get everything I wanted from the common slot. Some of the commons were really crazy, like Level Eater, Jin's a good rare. We got Triple Appointer, and I think we got Triple Necromancer, and I think we also got Double Swap Frog? Not quite triple, but yeah, we got Double Swap Frog. You know what? I can't complain. Lots of hollows in this hall here. Shooting Noji was a kind of disappointing secret. Let's see if we can actually mix up anything about the deck, though. Well, there's another Stygian Dirge, but there is an Earthbound Immortal, Kakariah. This card, I believe, used to be played in Fire Kings, which is the only reason I know that this card exists. Uh, if this card is destroyed by a card effect, except by its own effect, you can destroy all cards on the field. So this is pretty neat. Fire Kings had a lot of ways to destroy cards in hand, so they didn't have to be on the field. So at any point, you could, like, board nuke your opponent, which is kind of neat. But uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be playing this, but uh, it's an okay pickup. Coming up on the last few packs here, we haven't really pulled too much else that was spectacular. So we're probably just going to send these last few and see if we get anything neat. I highly doubt it. And yep, just like that, we're already on the last pack. So that kind of shows how the bulk of this opening went. Another copy of Gateway. Man, I wish I had six Sams. If I had two Gateway and had six Sams viable, that would have just been nuts. Overall, I mean, not bad, right? We got like a full play set of Stygian Dirge. We got a full play set of Swap Frog. Two ghost rare majestic star dragons that are never going to see the light of day, which is so annoying. <laughs> More importantly, we got the crush card. So uh, we're going to have to make some changes to the deck here. So let's go ahead and load up Dueling Book and start building. I don't know, chat. It feels kind of wrong to just leave the deck almost like it is, but it seems like it's working Okay. Just had some bad luck not drawing cards like Trap Stun against Alex last time around, I think. I think if we see those, Icarus attack is just like a minus one for him and it's super bad. But I decided to plug in Jinzo if he decides to stick with his Blackwing strategy because again, being able to slap down this and play through Icarus attack is massive. That's the one card that's been absolutely just pounding my shit and I'm hoping this might be able to turn things around a little bit. I realize we can't play Majestic Star Dragon because the actual um, dummy, the stupid Majestic Dragon is a level two. I no, I level one or something and it's a super rare in the set and we didn't get it so I mean I just put it in there to flex but uh hey he does look good I'm more terrified than anything about what Alex gets from those champion packs I really really want to come out on top of this episode because those champion packs have things like Armageddon Knight in them um crush card virus which is nasty in my deck just so many good cards in actually champion pack one specifically that are crazy the other turbo packs are great and everything but turbo pack one especially is spooky I can't wait to see I hope Alex didn't get anything too crazy imagine if he got the wild card common baby the one time it really would matter for you fella right i wonder what alex chefed up today still feeling really confident let's just hop in let's give him the hands ladies and gentlemen this is going to be a very interesting episode if you can tell by the deck we are bringing to today's duel obviously it looks very similar to the deck we brought last time however we have had to make some changes because we have a new card entering the mix so let's go ahead and quickly do the card by card we've got two copies of blizzard our nice piece of recovery to be able to allow us to go into synchro plays such as armed wings such as goyo guardian also stuff like magical android and stuff as well if we have to three copies of bora it's great because it special summons itself and has piercing gale for the same reason the one time i wish gale's effect worked on my own monsters but down here it specifically says you can target a face up monster your opponent controls Oh, I wish that wasn't the case, but you know what? We'll have to deal with it. We have three copies of Kalut. We have a Mistral, the Silver Shield. I'll talk about this momentarily. Three copies of Shura because it's a beast and three copies of Sirocco to be the top end of the Blackwing monsters for Black Whirlwind. We also have a copy of Kaiku just to keep Gage off of his big threats, as well as two copies of Sangen. So as you all know, we pulled a copy of Crush Card Virus. Crush Card requires you to tribute a dark monster with a thousand attack or less. So we have two Sangens in here to facilitate this, but we also have one copy of Mistral the Silver Shield. Now, let's just say that the under a thousand attack black wings are not exactly good. However, if we would have pulled Vayu, that would have been much better, but this is the next best one in my opinion. This one is a tuner, so we can actually fetch it off of Shura if Shura does manage to connect, and that gives us a Synchro 6 for Armed Wing or for Goyo Guardian if we absolutely have to. If we also like Snatch Steal one of Gage's monsters, it's a tuner so we could sync off into something, so there's actually a little bit of versatility here. It's a 
effect also isn't terrible. If it's on the field and destroyed and sent to the graveyard, reduce the next battle damage you would take this turn to zero. Again, it's a little bit conditional, but it's also 1800 defense, which isn't bad because a lot of our monsters that are just regular normal summonable monsters, this actually could put up a bit of a wall, but more importantly, this is something we can fetch off of Black Whirlwind. So if we open like Crush Card, Whirlwind, and any Blackwing, we then have access to get to Mistral. So it does take a turn to set up, but once we get there, we are basically going to be off to the races and we can activate this Crush Card and we're probably going to win the game from there. For the spells, we have Allure of Darkness still because we want to draw into our Crush Card as quickly as possible. Still three Whirlwind because this in tandem with the Mistral and the two Sangans is effectively like six ways to get to a monster to facilitate the Crush Card. It's also good because uh, Sangan can search stuff like Gale, it can search Kalut, it can search Blizzard, so it actually has some versatility outside of just searching this copy of Mistral. Three Book of Moon! Thank you, Turbo Pack 1, for this because Book of Moon has just been an all-star and especially with Gage considering cards like Trap Stun, I wanted to make my deck not as trap reliant and Book of Moon's good because then Shura can just hit over stuff, it stops Gage's synchro plays. There's very little interaction with a card like Book of Moon as we've seen and maxing out on this I think is insane. We have Heavy Storm, Pot of Greed, Regeki, and Snatch Steel and then for the traps, two copies of Bottomless, still the three Icarus attack. It's also good because Mistral is a black wing wing beast so that means Icarus attack at the very least we can use Mistral for that. Imperial Order, Royal Oppression, and Torrential Tribute. Moving on to the side deck. The side deck is almost identical. We still have a Cyber Dragon for going second. DD Crow's nice, as I've explained. It's a dark wing beast, so it synergizes with Icarus attack, Allure of Darkness, and a lot of the deck. It also can just get something out of his graveyard in a pinch if I have to. Two copies of Ryko. These are just nice to get stuff off the field if I have to, if Gage is playing any sort of Floodgate, so that's when these would come in. Over something like, let's say, Twister, I think Ryko's a little bit better. Dark Hole, I feel like Regeki's enough. Dark Hole comes in usually, maybe depending if I'm going second. Two My Body to protect our board. Two Soul Release to purge the graveyard. Two Compulse. These were in the main deck. I kind of want to play these over the bottom list because these don't really interact with my body as a shield. However, the problem is sometimes I just want to get rid of the threat and I say more often than not, I would want to. Compulse will put it back in the hand. So unless it is specifically something like a Synchro Monster or like a Tribute Monster, Compulse can be a little bit iffy at times. So I think Bottomless is probably just strictly better. We have two Mind Crush still. I kind of hate this card now, so I'm probably not going to play it. Skill Drain as well as Trap Dust Shoot. The extra deck hasn't really changed. I'm not playing Majestic Star Dragon because uh, that card's awful and there's no way I would ever be able to summon it regardless. We still have the same synchros. Armed Wing, we have Goyo, we have Magical Android, Power Tool, two Psychic Life Trancer, and a copy of Sea Dragon Lord Gishilnadon. We need to keep Gage off of this Crush card. That is priority number one. Priority number two is to actually resolve this and see his reaction when we do because it is going to be priceless. Remember, this is pre-Arata Crush card. It is the broken Crush card that everyone from back in the day knows and loves. If you watch the anime, you know exactly what this does. I can't wait. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Gage, it's time to kick it into overdrive. The dust or the stardust has settled from my last victory, and that is going to carry myself on to another 10 win streak like in the past. I hope you're ready, buddy. Bro, can I start introing these from now on? I can't let you keep <laughs> puns, dude. They, they're getting worse and worse. Did you have something better? Did you have something better for I, I, stardust I actually, overdrive? I actually did, but I think I could have saved the audience a little bit of cringe there. <laughs> That's why people watch these videos. These videos are the definition of cringe. Otherwise, they wouldn't spend their Mondays with us. You fair, know, it's, fair. That's how I it goes. It. I respect it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this set was so forgettable. This set just, oh my God. It there, was, there was not that great, dude. Like, not, even the ghost for like Majestic Star Dragon, it's just, it's not that memorable. Like, you can't even summon it. Did you it. pull one? I, I don't know. Did I? I, I mean, you're not going to play it if you did. So I don't think this is spoiling anything, but <laughs> I guess I will find out till the end of the episode. Whatever. All right. Let's get to rock, paper, scissors. Then let's shout out our patron, Mr. William Spoonley. Thank you so much for the support and send me to victory. Ooh. Okay. These I patrons gauge, they have been coming in clutch for me. Dude, I swear, if you win this RPS, like, I think I'm on a losing streak for RPS, which is good. We talked about this before. At least it's flipped. Ah! Oh, see, but you might win this one this time, you know? Maybe uh, it's That's fate. true. <laughs> that's true. Maybe the tides have finally turned. Maybe I needed to lose the rock, paper, scissors to uh, finally have this happen. Good luck, duelist. Good luck, bud. All right. We're going to start strong with Pot of Greed. I'm happy to see that at the very yeah, that least. That is pretty strong. Yep. Now the question is, how do we want to follow that up? I'll set myself a monster. I'll set myself a couple of face downs and we'll pass it over to you. All right, sounds good to me. I'll draw. I will just actually do about the same. I'm going to set a card and I'm just going to have my turn, dude. Go ahead. All right, I'm pretty okay with that. I'll draw. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's a pretty good draw. Oh, no, I don't <laughs> like that. Gage, I'm going to activate Black Whirlwind. Ah. <sighs> 
Yeah, you sure are. Gage, I'm gonna activate Black Whirlwind. <laughs> God, I hate this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Gage, I'm gonna normal summon Bora and trigger two oh, Black Whirlwinds. How does that Isn't, sound? Isn't like Bora the biggest one? No, Shura's a little bit bigger, right? Soroko's the biggest. Yeah. Then Shura, then Bora. That's yes. disgusting. But Bora's still big. Bora's still big. Oh, you're gonna add double Kalut. Oh my, go for it. I mean, I could add double Kalut. I don't know if that's necessarily the best thing to do, <laughs> but I'll take a look in my deck here and see. I'm actually happy. Joel and Lockbird's right around the corner. <laughs> it might start coming in clutch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> could you imagine if this card said equal attack? <laughs> oh my god, you... <laughs> that'd be so stupid. All right, so with these double black whirlwinds, I think I'm going to pick up a Kalut, and I'm also going to pick up a Blizzard. Okay. I have a bit of a contingency plan going. I think that will be fine. Let's go ahead and flip up a Sangin. Yep, seems good to me. Let's go to battle phase. We're going to hit into this with Bora. All right, I'll take 600, and it's Mystic Tomato. I'm going to trigger Tomato. Okay, sure. I'm going to pull out with Tomato a Witch of the Black Forest. Just a little bit bigger than your saying in there. Just slightly, unfortunately. I was really hoping that my three-eyed little fiend here could get in, but unfortunately he won't be. I'll go to main phase two, and I think with that, I might just pass the turn. Seems go good ahead. to me. I'll draw for turn. That hundred extra attack coming in It matters. In it matters. I'll start my turn big. We'll tribute the witch for Mobius, the Frost Monarch. Ooh, that's pretty good. So you're obviously going to have some chain links going on here. Yeah, chain link one witch, chain link two Mobius. And then I got to think okay. on the targets here. I'm wondering if I want to clear those whirlwinds or I think they've already done their work. That's the thing. I mean, they could get out of hand if I just draw any monster. That's what so. I'm thinking. If you top deck Soroko, it's scary, bro. But those those other two back rows would scare me. So I'm going to pop those two. All right. So let me think if I have any response here. And I think I do. I think I'm going to, in response, bottomless the Mobius. That's fair. I respect it. All right. That's fine. Okay, so we will resolve. You will got rid of my torrential tribute as well, which That's is another That's a big hit though. One. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, I'll just one. set a card, and this is gonna get scary, bro. Go ahead, your turn, your turn, dude. You're not gonna search with the witch? Oh wait, let me do that. That's mandatory too. Thanks for reminding. Yeah, it's but... mandatory. Hello. Uh, we gotta, you know, we gotta keep the game state fair. Off of which, I'll pick up. Uh, this guy seems pretty good. I'll pick up a uh, Cribons. You know, he's not bad. All right, it's your turn, dude. Okay, still the end of your turn. I just wanted to make sure. I figured you didn't have much else going on, but I figured nope, I would I already see. normal summoned, so that's the extent of it. Yep, I'll draw. I'll fire off an Allure of Darkness. Ah, Finally I get to use this. I literally think that's the first time I've seen you activate that card, and that's okay. Trust me. It, I <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. Um, hmm. All right, so now I have to give up a Dark Monster here. Obviously, I have a few, so that's not a big deal, but which one do I want to get rid of? What? I know you have Blizzard. I know you have Kalu. Don't imagine you can mm. get rid of either of those. I don't know why you're thinking so hard. Think. You literally get more free value off your Black Whirlwind. Like, it doesn't, it just <laughs> doesn't even matter. You don't know the rest of my hand, though. Okay, so with the Allure of Darkness, I will banish the Blizzard. Okay. Or a Blizzard, I should say. All right, now we're going to go ahead and normal summon ourselves a copy of Kalu, trigger double Black Whirlwind. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. With that, I will get two of my 1300 attack boys here, being Gale as well as Blizzard. Not too bad, not too bad. Oh, that man. I mean, the, the so double black whirlwind is putting in work here. It's so good. <laughs> I'll go ahead and bring out this copy of Gale, and we're just going to try to get in for damage, I suppose. I'll yep. go to the battle phase. Um, I'm going to take everything. What is this all together? Um, Do you have a Kalut trigger, too, by the way? I might. So should we go in order just in case? Let's or... go in order just in case, even though I'm, I'm almost certain I'm not dead. But all right, go. Okay. Order. All right. So I will attack with Sagan. All right. I'll take a thousand. No problem. Okay. Gale. Thirteen. Also, no problem. Okay, Kalut. 14. Also, I love these Gore's attacks, too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> right? Isn't it so great? And then uh, I'll go ahead and attack with Boar then as well. All right, and then you would only gain 14, would put you to 31. Yeah, I'm fine with this. Do you want to activate a Kalut? Damage step. Yep. I I'll activate Kalut. Okay. I'll activate a second Kalut. Good game, oh buddy. No way, bro. <laughs> no way. Did I just get outplayed? Woo! <laughs> Oh, yes, you did. Dude, I'm fucking sick. I was about... Oh, my God. Wait. No, 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 no. Wait. Okay, wait. I, I'm sorry. Before we go to the next game, you added one Kalut off Black Whirlwind. <laughs> did you draw the other two? I had one in my hand, and I drew the third off the Allure. Bro, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm fucking oh, sick, survived. dude. I'm fucking... Oh, my God. 
god. I don't want to hear. I, after all your bullshit with Emperor and Dark, I don't want to hear it. Dude, you had triple Kaloop. Triple Kaloop. I don't want to hear it. You normal. I had to, draw, I had to get three Kaloops. You literally normal summoned one. You normaled one. Because uh -oh. I needed to get the Gale for the extra damage to kill you. That's why I banished the Blizzard. Bro, I hate you, bro. Let's go game two. This is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe. What the fuck? Alex, bro, you have no idea, dude. It was gonna get so dirty for you if I, I, oh, I still can't get over the fact you drew two Kalu. You had two of them. That's so gross. I, I can't only drew one. It. I searched one Kalu off of the first double whirlwind, and then I got the. Uh, oh no, I did technically draw the second one off of the allure. That's right. So yeah, I did. I did draw two. You're right. Yeah. Game, okay. This That's game is justice. So fair sometimes. Dude. It's justice. It's justice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I, I'm gonna bring it back. Don't worry. I, a little hiccup there, but I'm gonna go second again. Good luck, Dolores. All right. Good luck to you as well. You're gonna need it. Let's hope for the best. I will start by activating a card that you know very well. It is Allure of Darkness. <laughs> hey, it's like I just saw that. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we're going to draw a couple here. Let's get rid of this copy of Kalut. I'll make you feel a little bit better this time that I won't triple Kalut you. <laughs> no, no, you can still double me, though. I'm not... <laughs> yeah, double is still pretty strong. Double is still pretty strong. I think I will just lead by setting a card and setting a couple. This is very similar to my turn one, and I'll pass to you. All right, I'll draw. Stand by main. I guess give me a look at those last two cards here. Confiscation. I haven't played this card before. Sure. Game, I, feel like. I don't feel like you have either. It's nothing great. Uh, you're going to have a... Pr I don't know, actually. This is, might be an interesting pick for you. Dude, you know how much I fucking hate Kalut already. I, um, you might just get rid of Kalut just because you hate it that much. I think the Blizzard's the safer choice, though, so I'm going to get rid of that. Well, we'll see if you regret that, but yes, Blizzard uh, will I go I probably will. I probably will. <laughs> Next, I'm going to draw, like, Whirlwind into, like, Shura, and then just double uh, Kalut you at some point. Dude, I would, that I would be put it past you, hilarious, <laughs> hilarious. I'll normal summon DD Warrior Lady. That's fine. I'll go battle phase and try to get over this phase now. Uh, you're going to get to see one of my new cards that I'm playing, actually. Oh, a new card. No way. It is. Uh, it's funny because it actually holds off your DD Warrior Lady. It is Blackwing Mistral, the Silver Shield. So take that 300 damage. Oh, my God. What does this card do here? It's uh, If it's destroyed and sent to the graveyard, it reduces the next battle damage I would take to zero. It's a nice way to actually not lose to Emperor Dragon or Dark Arm Does Dragon. that last, like, throughout multiple? multiple turns too is it just stay there until it actually no it happens? says it says this turn so oh, like it's, okay. it's a bit it's it's a bit uh conditional okay. but uh yeah would you like to banish it with dd warrior lady you know what as saddening as this is i am gonna banish it yeah get it off the <laughs> that's fine be my guest go ahead um i'll go main phase two We'll set a card and I'll just end the turn. All right, I'll go ahead and draw. Nothing too exciting for me here. I think I will just set a card myself. I think I'll just pass the turn. Go ahead. All right, seems good to me. I'll draw. I will normal summon Sangin. That is fine. Sangin beat down, baby. Thousand. Sangin can get in. Perfect. Love it. Main phase two. Set Scradu. Go ahead, your turn. All right, I'll go ahead and draw, and that is not very exciting. I'll just set another face down and pass it over. Alex, your back row is looking <laughs> horrifying, dude. <laughs> um, Flashbacks Rota. to game two. Yeah, Rhoda's fine. Uh, we'll pick up a Jane with Rhoda. Okay. I'm pretty sure you might have a Torrential Tribute, so let's get this 1,000 in while I can. Sure. And um, rather keep the Jane in hand, actually. Your turn, bud. Playing it rather conservatively, I can respect that. I will draw. I think I'll just... Play it a bit safe. I'll just set and pass. Go ahead. Man, it's too safe for me, dude. I'm going to draw. I guess it's time we'll throw out this Jane here. Summon Jane. Hmm. Where can this go? I think I'm going to fire off a bottomless trap hole for the Jane. Sure. That's fun. Okay. Um, weirdly enough, I just kind of want to get a peek at what that face down is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let, let's, let's go take a look. You know what? Sang and poke in. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to take damage. Oh, it's a Sang right. on my own. So no damage this time, all but right, I will ahead. get a search. The battle of the balls, baby. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to grab myself actually another Sang in. I'm just going to keep this in rotation. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Main phase two. I already summoned the Jane. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's your turn then. All right. I'll draw. That's okay. That's a good card. That's what we were looking for. We'll go ahead and normal summon Shura the Blue Flame. 
Yep, you sure I will. Oh, that's that's awful. That's See, that's worse than my intro. Bro, that's, that's worse <laughs> than my intro. I'm that's sorry. That's my one, dude. <laughs> All right, we'll try to get in here. All right, Shura is a okay. I'm gonna take 800. That's fine. And then I'm gonna All activate right. my Sangin. All right, you so you're mandatory, Shura. and I'm optional. So I will actually be going first, uh, even though I am turn player. But because Sangin's mandatory, that goes prior to optional effects. The question is, what do I want to grab? I think Gale is most likely our candidate candidate of choice here, so I think I'm going to go ahead and bring him out. Sure. Uh, Sangin's going to resolve. I'm going to mm -hmm. pick up Krebons with Sangin. So. That's pretty good. All righty. And then I'll just head over to main phase two. I think I'll just pass the turn. Go ahead. All right. I'll draw. I'm going to set a monster face down, and I'll set a speller trap and I will end my turn. All right, I will draw. I'm feeling I, I'm feeling very confident that you have a Krebons uh, set. So, I mean, it could be. What else would you set, I guess is the question. It could be a few things, but nothing like crazy. I say we see. At the very least, we just get some uh, life points out of you. I'm gonna switch Gale to attack. Sure. I'm gonna go to battle phase. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit in with Shura first. Sure. Uh, Mystic Tomato. So now okay. these are both optional. Right. So this time you will actually go first on the summon. Okay. I'll pick up a Witch of the Black Forest. It's got to be an attack position. And now it's your Correct. Move. Go ahead. Yep. So now Shura will trigger. And there's only so many Black Wings that have uh, <laughs> 1,500 or less attack, unfortunately. <laughs> I suppose I'll go for another copy of Gale. Sure. And uh, we'll send this Gale into your witch. Sure. 200 to the dome, and I'll get that witch search. Yep, that's fine. You already know who I'm picking up. The I one. had a feeling. We'll go to main two. I'll set myself a fourth back row, and I will go to the end of my turn. All right. Sounds good to me. Draw for turn. During your draw phase. All right. Oh, Grab dust you, baby. Oh, baby. You get to. It's not going to matter, dude. You get to get a look. Uh oh. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> oh, no. I already knew you had the Krebs, so that's not, like, too surprising or I anything. think it's an obvious choice here. Why would you not pick that? Uh, I just need to look in your graveyard quickly. Yeah, you have three darks. All right, may I see your hand again, please? Mm -hmm. So you have three darks. You currently don't have a light, but instant fusion can get you a light because i know you play lights in there you've got some like shenanigans with uh the krebs meister over there oh boy this is a uh, wow this is tough gage this is tough i mean yeah i do feel like dad is the obvious choice here only because you at least have to commit to the board to get some of your resources to get to the emperor and i'm like kind of okay with that it sucks you can search dad back but yeah we'll we'll, we'll get rid of the dad Sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's it's a, it's a tough call. It's a tough call. All right. Well, let's see if this goes through here. This is what I've been cooking up for the past few turns. We'll go instant okay. fusion. Instant fusion is fine. Pay the cost for it. I'm going to summon the Gilta, the D Knight. The D Knight. Giltia is fine. Guilty as good. Love to hear mm -hmm. it. I'm going to normal summon Krebons. All right. Now I got to think. All right. So your plan is ultimately to make Black Rose, nuke the board, and then as a result of nuking the board, you have Emperor Fodder on top of that, which is kind of scary. How are we going to deal with this? I feel like you have the defensive measures in place to ensure that this goes through, but we still have to try. I'm going to activate Icarus Attack. Does Icarus Attack target? Yeah. It okay, does so target. Tribute for cost. Get rid of the, I'm assuming the Gale in defense position. Or yeah, I'm going to get rid of the defense position, right. Gale. What are you targeting? This is like a weird one. I do have to target, so that like gives away what I'm thinking here. If I go after your monsters, that makes me vulnerable to my body as a shield. I believe you're also on trap stun now, potentially. So that's also another card that stops this regardless. If I go after your back row, I actually clear those out. But I feel like I need to see, I need to like force you to have it. Let me go after the Krebons? Do I care about you having Giltia? If I target Krebons and a back row, you can still my body. So that doesn't really like change the equation too much. And I'm actually going to go after one of your back row. So yeah, I'm going to actually one? roll. I'm going to roll for it here. Uh, so I rolled a four. I used the die in front of me, not the oh, one. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, on, I was on confused. Book. My bad, my bad. So I'm going to go after the middle back row here. Okay. And uh, show me the my body or the trap stun. I have a feeling you've got it set up. 
Unfortunately, I don't. Um, wow. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. So that is going to resolve. That's fine. Okay. Like to see that. I didn't think I'd get this far. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, I don't. Be gentle. <laughs> oh, man. Go ahead. Your turn. Dude. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's exactly why I wanted to keep guilty around because if you didn't have it, you actually don't have emperor fodder until the next yep. turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll draw, and I, I guess we have to try. Around 4,700 life, so I feel like I have to go for it. I'm going to special summon Bora. I'm going to think. I'm going to activate Royal Oppression. Wow. Wow. Gonna, yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to pay eight, and I'm going to get rid of that Bora. Okay. He's gone. Thankfully, I haven't used my normal summon yet. I'm going to normal summon Sangen. I forgot you added Sangen. <laughs> yep. Oh, boy, Gage. Only one back row separates you from losing two in a row. Go ahead. Go on. Just go battle phase. Battle phase. Yep. Thousand. Oh, oh, hell yeah! Dude. <laughs> Woo dude, you've had the perfect combination of cards. Dude, Icarus oh. Attack is so good. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah, I, I cannot believe how strong that card is. Um, I also had a Kalut in my hand. <laughs> so even if the Sangan didn't get to get summoned, I still had a lethal push with this you Kalut in my hand. You always have it, bro. Dude, oh man, I, that was oh. a really, really good game, though. That was really good. That was really good. Yeah, so my, my thinking was, so I had Book and I had Torrential back here as well. So what I was thinking was, I, I pinned you on my body or trap stun. I'm like, there's no way this goes through. Mm. So my theory was, I'm going to, at the very least, get rid of Krebons and maybe a back row. Also hitting Bottomless was also pretty, yeah, actually it wouldn't have mattered because you still would have uh, oppression Bora, but regardless. So I want to get rid of Krebons in a back row. And then if you my body or trap stunned, I don't care because then I was just going to immediately book your Krebons. And then by doing that, you weren't going to be able to go into black rows and it effectively would have like been the same situation. Mm -hmm. So uh I felt pretty safe letting you hit Icarus attack because I had this book of moon as a backup here. And then if you had a way to still get like guilty to the grave or something and like summon uh, Chaos Emperor, I had this torrential as like an absolute last resort that I'd, I'd nuke my whole board just to make sure you don't resolve it. So I wish I could have flipped the Royal Oppression earlier because then maybe I was trying to think of a play with like the twister to combo where oh, I was hoping to like bait uh, you, you into like were you asking you were about safe. like with were you asking about like with Shura? Yeah, was that was, okay? Yeah, yeah. I was it, doesn't, if I it does not work Shura, then. I can't. No, no so. you can't. Yeah, you can't oppression the floaters. Yeah, yeah, so that's that's it's the same type of uh, it's in damage step, so you can't yeah, do it. So my thought process was, was maybe like if I could stick the oppression and then like bait you into thinking like why is he making black rose with oppression up like because you can just negate it and then right. I can hit you with a twister which would just ruin your day. That's but, actually that's pretty heads up. I I like the thinking behind that play a lot. That's yeah. that's really smart. So I mean uh, yeah, but. And that all depended on if I could activate oppression when you sure, but I couldn't. So game just I gotta like be lost honest, control out of there. That dust shoot really helped me out when I needed it. Oh too. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, dude. If I would have dropped dad, I uh, I think I had the perfect curve to be able to make it through too, because then I would have baited something out and then you know if that right, didn't go because through then black rose and then <laughs> Dad would have either there. baited out Icarus or Book, and then yeah. I wouldn't have had either of those for this Krebons plus Guiltia play. So then I would have had to use one there. I think you would have been able to most likely maybe get to C E D at that point, but wow. Mm -hmm. That was wild. Oh my god, what a great set. I'm feeling good. 2-0 gauge. 2-0. Oh, uh, you're uh, getting lucky with those Icarus. Dude, I'm still siding. I actually <sighs> side. Okay, well, I didn't side them in because I was going uh second. Second, yeah. But I, I played Trap Stun and I have the uh what else did I sided? I sided in Mind Crushes against you for the Kalut because I fucking hate that card now. I don't blame <laughs> you. That, that card <laughs> after that game one, I don't blame you for mind crushing or having mind crush for Kalut. I'm still That's, main decking uh, these my bodies, but I just I'm not seeing them at the right times. Like my body on Icarus attack is so big, but I just I yeah. can't see it. That's a so. huge minus for me if you pull that off. It's big. Mm. It's really big. Gage. Oh man. This is uh this has been quite an episode and uh it, it gets better for you. So oh, no. did you uh, did, so did you actually get turbo packs on the wheel? I was talking about it when I was going over the set. I'm like, I'm horrified of your turbo packs, bro. If you get them. Please don't I did tell get me turbo packs. Oh, I did get turbo okay. packs. Okay. <laughs> I did get turbo packs. And uh there's a card I need to show you that I pulled. 
Oh, no. There's a card I need to show. Are you ready? For I, Gage, I don't think you're ready for this. I, I don't know Are you if ready? ready for it. Dude, just show me it. Crush card. You ready? Crush card. I got a third book of Moon. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, man. Dude. Oh, oh, oh. I was so, Did you get anything I was else? So happy. I was so happy to see this third book of Moon because especially with you now playing Trap Stun and stuff too, mm -hmm. like book of, book of Moon has been one of the biggest saving graces in the series for both of us. Like oh, yeah. being able to stop synchro plays, being able to stop, I, like I can't even tell you, like the, the card is just fantastic. And so I like this over something like, uh, like, you know, bottomless or over almost any trap that isn't named like Icarus attack or like torrential, a card that's gonna like win me the game, right? Yeah, yeah. Book of Moon is just huge. The card is just mm -hmm. nuts. Did you not get anything else from the turbo pack so? Oh, I got a crush card too. Oh, oh, you dick! Why did you? Why'd you do me like that, bro? Come on! <laughs> I had to lure you into a false sense of security first to make you feel like you didn't have to worry about it. You're but weren't a piece you? Of shit. Weren't you oh. wondering what I was up to when you saw Sangan and Mistral, the silver shit? Mistral? Did you know how bad this card I is? Just, game? I, it's this bad, bad. I just awful. thought. I just thought you wanted more free value off of your black roll, and I was like, you know, what? I'm gonna let him have it. But now I'm like, oh my god, crush cards, fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> is that all you got? Uh, yeah. I, there was okay, like the okay. other. I think I got like terraformings and like whatever. Nothing else like notable. But Mistral's actually like kind of cool though, because it is a tuner. So like, if mm -hmm. I use Shura and hit and kill something, I can actually just bring out Mistral and make a six just off of that without having to get Blizzard specifically. Mm -hmm. So that's also another cool interaction with it. So it, it, and the effect is like fine right the other one i think i can use like attacks directly and then like changes the position of the of a monster you control if it does damage or something like that but that just seems mm. like awful this thing actually has 1800 defense which is kind of bulky to yeah, be fair yeah it's an allure target at the very least it's a uh and you didn't get to see it i had icarus attack set the turn one here i can just use icarus attack and get rid of it that way so it actually does have synergy with the deck even though its primary purpose is just like crush card mm -hmm. but i think that's really solid that there's like something that's like a third decent out of the uh, i wish i had Vayu, dude i so wish i had Vayu. <laughs> Vayu would be so much better yeah so uh you didn't get to see the beast but uh i, I really wanted to spring it on you i really really wanted to but i just didn't get you'll to get a it. one of these episodes it's gonna make me cry dude oh my god yeah i'm like imagine if like with that hand you just had with chaos emperor dragon dark arm dragon if instead of trap dust shoot i had crush card oh you would have fucking god. cried oh my god you had dude. snipe you had snipe too so Snipe yep, would have been Snipe would have went left too. God, my hand would have been clean. <laughs> Damn, bro. Um, did you wow. get anything from Stardust Overdrive? I, I mean, it's did you not get a the Ghost set, Rare? I did get the Ghost Rare Majestic Star Dragon, but I don't have the regular Majestic Dragon to play with it. I do have the Stardust Dragon though, so I got half of the formula completed. But <laughs> I got, I got two of the Ghost Rare. <laughs> you. <what? laughs> I'm so livid. It's like I could have gotten two Stardust Dragons. I could have gotten two Black Rose Dragons. No, we're going to give you two Majestic Star Dragons for your trouble. Have fun. I think that's fine considering I got Crush Card this episode, but still. Yeah, yeah, like... you know what? Oh my God, dude. I was really yeah. hoping I would get a gateway of the six in this episode, but I didn't. I actually got two gateways. Oh, come on, bro. Dude, trade me one of your gateways. I'll trade you so you have a play set of these majestic star dragons. I'll, if you give me your black rose or your stardust, yeah, sure, I'll give you one. <laughs> nah, I'll pass up on that one. But it's yeah, okay. I figured you oh. would. I figured you would. Man, lame. This is uh, tides are turning for you, Gage. You could say the uh, the winds have shifted in a different direction thanks to God, the black way. <laughs> Just wrap up the episode. Oh my God. <laughs> so guys, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Bad Puns and the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression <laughs> Series. We have to shout out our patrons as always. Big shout outs to Pony Stark, Joshua Wiley, Sean Alling Jr., Tim00x3, Shadow1317, Michael Dente, Mystic Walk, Ollie, we have Neo Cypher Slacker, Sylvia Wilde, and Gayoko, Part 2, Dan the Man Hoban, Synchro Guy, GW, Jarvis Martin, Logan Thomas, Dragon Lord, Dollywop, Peter Gregory, Rasmus, Shotagonist, Thomas Nelson, Emil Cohen, Ika Iron Fang, Draconic, Alex Smith, Jordan Coons, Timothy Chen, Jesse Wood, True Nerdgasm, we have you Geo Hot Pack, Naru Celeste, Chris Hood, Shane Reese, and Jordan Husey. Thank you so much for watching the video, and we will see you next time.